Hi, I'm Nick Slavic, and this is Painter's Tradecraft. In this segment, we're going to show you how to paint the outside of a house using the Titan Elite 3000, an electric airless sprayer. We'll also show you some accessories to increase your productivity. One of the unique things about the Titan Elite 3000 is that the cart comes right out of the box and offers you two configurations, the upright, direct immersion, and the lowrider, siphon tube. All right, let's get these in paint and show you how it works. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our five gallon bucket. We're gonna stick our main siphon tube in to collect the paint. We're gonna take the back siphon tube and put it into a bucket of slop. We're gonna get rid of any thinner or water that's in the sprayer. As soon as we see the paint coming back out, we're gonna take that back siphon tube and we're gonna put it back in the main bucket of paint. That means that we have paint flowing through the sprayer now and we're gonna clean out the spray line and the gun. So we're gonna switch the sprayer to put pressure towards the gun and we're gonna get rid of any water or thinner in the gun and the hose. And as soon as we start seeing paint, we'll turn the sprayer off so we don't waste. After paint comes out of the gun, we will put the guard and the tip on and now we're ready to spray. So when it comes time to paint, there's lots of options for you. Depending on the size of the exterior project, you can have one, two, or even three or more people on a crew. In my experience, I've always liked the two-person crew. You can both prep the house together. When it comes time to paint, one person can do the majority of the painting, the other person can be the assistant. They can make sure there's enough paint, they can adjust the sprayer, and move drop cloths and ladders ahead of the person painting. For exterior painting, there's two basic tips that I like to use. There's the standard red airless tip from Titan. We've known and loved it for many years, but there's also some newer technology, the HEA tip, the high efficiency airless. You can operate at a lower pressure, lower overspray. It's a more efficient tip. We have our Elite 3000 set up with an HEA tip. Let's head over to the wall and start spraying. All right, it's time to paint. I've spec'd a 517 HEA tip for this project. The five refers to the fan pattern. It'll give you a 10 to 12 inch fan pattern. The 17 refers to the orifice size. We'll be using Sherwin-Williams Loxon XP on this stucco. It's a thicker paint, so we use a larger orifice. A 17 will do nicely. In order to have a beautiful professional finish, we're going to abide by the wet edge rule. We want to work methodically top to bottom, left to right, so that all the paint dries at the same time, giving us that professional finish. Let's start painting. One of the most basic, yet most productive airless accessories is the gun extension. It allows you to reach farther, top to bottom and left to right, but as a side benefit, it allows you to have less ladder moves and less people on site, making you more productive. One of the most popular ways to finish stucco is to spray and back roll in order to fill the pores. Typically, people would use a two-person team. One person would spray, one person would back roll. With the Titan Spray Roller, one person can do that job. You can spray apply the paint and back roll all in one. The longer pole will give you reach, you can spray the edges of the wall, and then you can roll and spray the field. First, I'll remove the roller attachment. Then I'll spray the edges of this wall after that, I'll reattach the roller and spray and back roll the field. 